Hey guys, Rit here. Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we finally made it down here to Cinnabar Island and we got the secret key to the gem that was in the Pokemon house and stuff. And yeah, so this episode we're going to take on the seventh gem of Kanto. So let's do this. Alright, so let's see here. I'm not going to bother doing the quizzes because I want to fight every trainer. So I'm just going to talk to all the trainers and fight them because it'll be easier and quicker. And I want to get as much XP as possible, obviously. And, oh, is this going to be a ghost gym? Interesting. Very, very interesting. There's not actually a lot of ghost types uh, you can have in this game, so that's very, very interesting. Go for a Luckily we have Sacred Fire to deal with uh, any of those Shedinjas that might come around. Oh, po oh my god, that's actually... Hmm, I don't know if that's actually worth using. Even though we get stab damage, for, even though we'll get stabbed for Poison Tail putting it up to 75 power, it's still a physical attack. Like, poison attacks are physical in this game, so it might not be that great with Pulte. And... I don't know, like, even, even with the stab damage, it's weaker than pretty much every move we have here. And it's only a little stronger than Psybeam. And, like I said, it's physical, so I don't think it's worth having. If it was Sludge Bomb, I would probably definitely still take it. But the fact that it's only Poison Tail, um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to take it, which is a shame, but, yeah, well, things happen for a reason, don't they? Alright, so yeah, it seems like this is going to be a, yeah, this is definitely going to be a old, uh, ghost gem, that's pretty crazy. Having a ghost gem be, like, the seventh badge. Be interesting to see what, uh, Blaine's going to have for us to deal with. Unless he does have uh, different types, I can I keep forgetting if I don't think every gym leader has had the same types as the trainers, but I think some of them have. I can't remember. But either way, we'll guess we'll see what happens with that. Oh, a Bennett for Psybeam. I'm just really really hoping that none of these ghost types actually have a ghost move because that would have been kind of scary. But now the police up to level 46, we'll switch him out. Uh, might as well get Sangster out there. And let's see, what do you have? Another Shedinja, that's fine. We have uh, moves to deal with you on this Pokemon as well. And a Sableye, that's no problem. Using Leer, quite random. Uh, more Ghastlies. Oh, that could be a problem. Luckily the Absorb's not... Could you ha... Alright, seriously? Could you fucking actually hit a Rock Slide for once in your fucking life? Jesus Christ. Like, seriously, I must like... Four rock slides and like one go without any accuracy drops. Okay, that's the gym leader. So this has actually been pretty quick. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to run out and heal uh, real quick. No, wrong place. Just before we fight the gym leader, I want everyone healed up. Just in case we need anybody on the team to come out and help with stuff. Because you never know what will happen in these Nuzlocks. Especially randomised ones. Alright, so let's do this. Ha! I am Blaine. The red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! You best ha you better have Burn Heal. I screwed that right up. Alright, so we got our seventh gym badge. So let's see. I wonder, is he gonna have ghosts? And how scary are they gonna be? He does have ghosts and he's a cop. Cop Mia. Alright, so first Pokemon's level 42. It's pretty crazy. Let's just Alright, Sangster, if you went, like, fucking blind or some shit, like, what the fuck is going on here? Alright, that tail glow is kind of scary because these Ghastlies could actually have Absorb on them, so let's switch out to Kampkin, uh, because if he does go for an Absorb, that will not do that much damage. Mmm. Alright, this is getting a bit crazy here. He's now at maximum. Oh, no, wait, I think tail glow only puts up two stats in this game. Doesn't it? I think, yeah, I think it's still only two, but that's still kind of scary. A Ghastly with plus four special attack is not something you want to mess around with, so thank god we were able to get that out of there pretty quickly. And Sangster grew up to level 46. Nice. Alright, what's next? A Dusclops. Hmm. Um, so far, it seems like most Dusclops we fought in this game have got a lot of fire attacks, so I think we're just going to stay in and just go for another Surf and see how much that does. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately Dusclops is very, very, um, very, very defensive, so these 
Sarf, so I'm not going to be doing enough. This is probably going to knock him down to the range where he's going to use a potion. Or we could just get a critical hit. That'll work. Good job, Campkin. Alright. And a mischievous, so we'll just stay in. Might as well. No reason not to. Sandstream. Ooh, that's going to be annoying. This gym battle is actually going to be quite easy. Uh, surprisingly. I'm not sure what other ghost type he can have on him. I'm assuming his last one's probably going to be a Gengar. Um, I would assume. Meditate. Oh, scary. A mischievous putting its attack stat up. That's no problem. One more surf and this thing's gone. And then we just have to deal with whatever's left. And I'm assuming it's probably going to be a Gengar. I can't think of any other ghost types it would have. Unless it's maybe a Bonnet. Possibly. Could be that. Um, let's see here. Hey, Camp King, level 45. Learning any new attacks? Oh. Wow, really? Fucking string shot. No, thank you. I'm good. Okay, yes, it is a Gengar. Um, let's see then. Do I want to switch? Do I want to switch? Nah. Let's keep Camp King. Let's keep Camp King in here, shall we? Level 47, though, that's kind of scary. Gotta say. Alright. Luckily, I don't think this thing can do too much uh, skill swap. Alright, well, that's not really gonna do much. Swapped abilities. I think Gengar's ability is pressure. So, that's fine with me. Kind of scared how fast this thing is. Um, but I think one more surf should be on with the sand. One more surf should be enough to take this thing out. So unless it out of nowhere goes, uh, Thunderbolt, I think I'm good. Okay, he just used skill swap twice. What is the point in that? A very, a very underwhelming uh, seventh gym battle. I gotta say, it was very, very easy. So yay! I don't know why his Gengar only used skill swap. It's really dumb. But yay, we have our seventh gym badge. Woo! Awesome. Ha! The volcano badge. Heightens the special set of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. Alright, so usually that's Fire Blast. Which we already have actually in a TM. So what is it this time? It would be it would be pretty interesting if it was actually a water move and he's like, don't use it on water Pokemon. Alright, what 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 do we have? Something good, something good. Needle arm. Alright, that's interesting. Herbie can learn it and Camp can learn can learn it. Hmm, Herbie. Do you want to have Needle Arm? We could actually put that over Giga Drain. It's the same power, but Giga Drain does give us HP back. But and yeah, Giga Drain does give us HP back. But it's the fact that it only has five PP is really annoying. Oh god, and this could cause flinch. Uh, I'm gonna go against my better judgment and just don't do it. I just feel like having more PP and that, that flinch with something as fast as uh, as Arcanine would be pretty useful, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. Why not? All right, so that's us got our seventh gym badge. Oh hey, it's Bill. Huh? Hey, if it isn't red, look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Yeah, it's got a lot of dead Pokemon in it. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? Uh, where are you going with this, Bill? I'm a straight, young, ten-year-old boy. Not sure what you're implying here. There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming? Yeah, sure. So yeah, if you say no, by the way, um, he'll just basically say, okay, well, let me know when you're ready to go. So you can go, like, do a bunch of stuff and then come back and just talk to him and he'll go, oh, you're ready to go now? And then you can go with them. So don't worry about saying no. You will still be able to come here. Alright. Here we are. This is one island. There are several islands around here and this is one of them. My friend Celio sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network by his lonesome. Why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Celio. Alright. So let's go see Celio. 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 Contos. Celio. I don't even... Is that, is that what it is? Celio. I think it's Celio Contos from fucking American Dad. Hey there, Celio! Bill, I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How is your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. Red, this is my buddy, Celio! He's one, he's one dedicated PC maniac. Celio, this is Red. 
a rising contender as the Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. So, bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on the island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh yeah? Okay, let me uh, have a look-see. Hang on here. I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Red, can I get you to wait for just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favour? The island next to this one is Two Island. There's a guy there that runs a game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. He, We keep in touch being fellow maniacs, so can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? Yeah, sure, I'll just be your fucking chore boy. No problem. Red, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. Hey, thanks. It's a pass for the ferry service, serving to local islands. Alright. Oh, you should have this too. Oh my god. I'm getting so much stuff. And the town map. That'll, uh, thanks. Alright, so I guess we should heal up. Oh, it's not Celio, it's Stelio, isn't it? It's Stelio Contos, it's not Celio Contos. I'm a dumbass. Stelio! Stelio Contos! Stelio! Alright, well, let's see. Anything worthwhile talking to here? No. I don't think anybody here actually does anything useful. Um, hello? Young people all want to go off to big cities, but I want to stay here forever. Eh, good for you. Alright, um... Not sure what to do first. We can actually head over this way. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of like trainers and uh, new routes we can catch a bunch of Pokemon and stuff. So we may actually head over this way first. And then go over to Two Island. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to head over this way. Might as well. Um... Let's see, we'll switch out to Tyler. Right, so we got some Pokemon, new Pokemon we can catch here. So we might as well look around until something appears. Anything want to appear at all? There we go. Hey, I'm on top. Interesting. Looks like that. Alright, well, you're an asshole. And we'll switch to Polty. Really? You're going to keep using Flatter and then Sleep Powder. And now we can catch it. Hey, that was easy. So we got him on top. And we're gonna call you I'm gonna call you John. John the on top. There we go. I'm beginning to get a sunburn. Well fucking go home then, dumbass. Don't fucking keep staying out here. Or put sunscreen on for god's sakes. Oh I, oh my god, she has a Kingdra. That's pretty ridiculous. Could you not use paint split please? It's kind of annoying. Thank you. God damn. Alright. And we'll get healed up. Let's see. Is this a, This is still the same route, isn't it? This is Canoli Road. Okay, so Mount Ember is where we're going. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can do up there. Alright. What else do you have? Venonats galore. I'm just gonna basically just go for Thunderbolts since the Aurora Beam is not doing enough to knock these things out. It's kind of annoying. Alright. God damn. What is it seems like there's so many Pokemon that have the uh that have the abilities to summon weather, like the the weather abilities, like sandstream and fucking all that shit. Oh, I know Mane. I would have loved to have caught, caught that thing. Oh well. Very annoying that so many Pokemon have that those fucking abilities to uh make sand and all that shit appear. It seems like we've run into way more than you would think, like for a, for a thing that's being totally randomised, you would think it would be not as, like, often, but it is. It's ridiculous. Swimmer Kim would like to battle. What do you have? Why the hell did I just use Aurora Beam on a Sneasel? I don't know. Alright, well, what else do you have? Peeloswine. Peeloswine. Piloswine. A couple of Aurora Beams on you, and that's you gone. There we go. And uh, Tyler got level 46, that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's switch out to Camp Kin. Are we not? Okay, we don't have Rock Smash yet. We get it, like, just up here, though, so that's no problem. Oh, hello, Duskull. Uh, there's an item down here. Whereas, oh, we'll have to go surf. Yeah, it's a max spell. Okay, well, that was not really worth going down there for, but whatever. And Natu! Bam! A little, tiny little Natu getting fucking body slammed by a giant Gyarados. Uh. Alright. And we... God damn... Okay, so Rock Smash we should be getting just up here. Uh, 
Wow, I totally forgot. Surf, thank you for only hurting uh, the Pokemon that are immediately uh, on the other side and not hurting your own team members. That is pretty goddamn awesome, and I forgot that was a thing in this game. Alright, what do you have? Match up. Wow, he actually has fighting types. That's kind of weird. Oh, but he has a combustion, which is pretty interesting. Could you not please spike cannon me, goddamn? Alright, goddammit. I didn't have time to switch to somebody else. Overheat, even though the rain's on, which, ah, wow, well, that actually didn't do enough to knock that thing out. A gloom. Switch out to Tony. And just go for some swifts. Light screen. That ain't gonna help ya. Swift is a physical attack in this game. Haha. -ha. Alright. And if we come in here, talk to this guy. No, not that guy. This guy. No, that's not a guy. That's a woman. This guy. Yeah, he gives you rock smash. There we go. So now we have rock smash. Woohoo. Awesome. Um, can anybody even learn it in our team? I don't even know. I'm hoping somebody can learn it so we can actually get to those items. Okay, okay everyone can learn it. <laughs> wow. Um, why can't everybody learn Rock Smash on my team? That's pretty ridiculous. I'm not actually sure who I want to teach that to. And I think I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. Uh, I'll probably figure out who I'm going to give Rock Smash to next time. And then we'll continue uh, going up to Mount Ember to see what's going on up there. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.